to see you guys here. We've worked so hard and to we're put back. this day together, and uh, it's been absolutely amazing. So give yourselves a round of applause, please. It's been a while since I got up to two hours. Um, so I'm, I'm actually going to recite a poem today. It's a, it's a poem by Ani DeFranco. That means I'm getting better with um, it. A fantastic poem. I'm, I'm going to give a little preface, though. This, um, this little stand, that, this little tripod makes um, all the difference in the world. My, my interpretation of it, based on the, the context of the poem, um, when because your hands aren't always uh, touching the bone, right? And it's so our easy to. Mothers and forefathers is not in the traditional sense that uh, we're learned to, to um, think of what our foremothers and forefathers are. And instead of, of I already got guns as, as the, from doing this, this chair, you know. Uh, came to to this land and uh, my neck size just went up like four inches. The, um, the indigenous people, um, where we're talking about our foremothers right and, and for, forefathers who uh, have continuously stood up well, against was, you know, oppression. I'd be stuck in my room all the time, um, you know. And, and for progress. I love my country, by which I mean I am indebted joyfully to all the people throughout its history who have fought the government to make right. There we go. Where so many cunning sons and daughters are. Four mothers and forefathers came singing through slaughter, came through hell and high water so that we could stand here and behold breathlessly the sight, how a raging river of tears cut a grand canyon of light. I've been so many places flown through vast empty spaces with stewardesses whose hands looked much older than their faces. I've tossed so many napkins into that big hole in the sky been at the bottom of the Atlantic, seething in a two-ply, looking up through all that water and the fishes swimming by. And I don't always feel lucky, but I'm smart enough to try. Because humility has buoyancy, and above us, only sky. So I lean in, breathe deeper that brutal burning smell that surrounds the smoldering wreckage we've come to know so well. Yes. Color me stunned and dazzled by all the red, white, and blue flashing lights in the American intersection where black crashed head on with white. Comes a melody, comes a rhythm, a particular resonance that is us and only us. Comes a screaming ambulance and a hand that you can trust laid steady on your chest, working for the better good, which is good at its best. And two, bearing witness like a woman bears a child with all her might, born of the greatest pain into a grand canyon of light. And no song has gone unsung here, and this joint is strung crazy tight, and people been raising up their voices since they just ain't been right with all the righteous rage and all the bitter spite that will accompany us out of this long night, that will grab us by the hand when we are ready to take flight Seat back in tray table in the upright and locked position, shot to tears by each new vision of all that my ancestors have done. Like, say the women who gave their lives so that I could have one. People were standing at ground zero of the feminist revolution. It was an inside job, stoic and sly, one we're supposed to forget and downplay and deny, but I think the time is nothing if not nigh to let the truth out. Coolest F word ever deserves a fucking shout. I mean, why can't all decent men and women call themselves feminists? Out of respect for those who fought for this. But just look around. We need this. Yes, I love my country by which I mean I am indebted joyfully to all the people throughout its history who have fought the government to make right, where so many cunning sons and daughters, our foremothers and forefathers, came singing through slaughter, came through hell and high water so that we could stand here and behold breathlessly the sight, how a raging river of tears is cutting a grand canyon of light. Thank you. So we are almost, almost, almost done. But I need everyone to stand up. Come on, come on. We're almost done. We're almost done. Get up, get up, get up. Okay, we're going to do our last chant standing so we can end with a bang.
So, when women's rights are under attack, what do we do? When women's rights are under attack, what do we do? When health care is under attack, what do we do? When health care is under attack, what do we do? When schools are under attack, what do we do? When schools are under attack, what do we do? This is not it. We need to continue. The movement has to continue. Word and other organizations are out here. If you haven't signed up and you want to get involved, please, we have, who has our, our sign -in sheets over there? But probably at the tables right there. But please sign in. We can get involved because we need everyone to unite and struggle and to defend women's rights. Our next event that we're going to be at is at the Slut Walk. We're going to have a contingent. It's Saturday, September 8th at noon at the Lotus Park. So we're going to have a big contingent. Please join us. Um, it's to stand against violence against women. And after that, on Sunday, September 9th uh, at 2 p.m., here close by, 2969 Mission, 2969 Mission between 25th and 26th, we're going to have our next word meeting. So again, if you're fed up of all the attacks, which I know I am, and you want to get involved, join us. Together we can. Juntos podemos vencer. So once again, thank you so much for coming. Let's continue this fight together. Join us. We can do it. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. Woo and now we are done. Thank you. All right, guys, you hear it. You hear it first. Let your elected representatives know if you're willing to go that route. But get out in the streets and show your support for women's rights. Because women's rights are everybody's rights. And uh, this is Freeman Sullivan. Uh, at Freeman Sullivan on Twitter. Freeman Sullivan at Gmail. Numbers 415-499-2780. If you'd like to call and have me cover your event or protest in the Bay Area, let me know and I'll come down and do it for free. So uh, let me turn to the phone and I'll be back on Tuesday. It'll be my next uh, uh, live stream. I'm taking tomorrow off. I need to have a day off. So uh, join me then. If you, if you hit the follow button at the Ustream channel where it says follow, uh, you can receive an email uh, from Ustream that will notify you whenever I go online. Right? So do that. I don't want to. I'll let you go. You guys have a good Sunday. And uh, I love everybody out there. And keep checking in with the live stream, and we're going to keep doing them. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.